Okay, wow. How has it already been a week? And how is it already that we have another new episode? Episode two already, you guys. This is pretty insane. I'm really glad that you commented and we got to talk about it because that makes me super excited to talk to other people that also love the show and I really like hearing from you guys. So thank you very much. That really made my week very exciting. It made me not as depressed, even though we were combining our, you know, thoughts and emotions because of how depressed we were. It was great. So let's get this going, huh? Shall we? Shall we? Great. Why does everything have to be understandable? <laughs> Why can't some things be unacceptable and, and we just say that? I only mean it's okay. I'm letting my daughter down. How the hell is that okay? You just lost your wife. And Rosie just lost her mother. Oh, I'm picking up Rosie this afternoon after I see my therapist. Got a new one, seeing her today. Are you gonna tell her about me? No. Why not? So I can't. Why not? Because I can't, you know I can't. She thinks you're dead. John, you've got to remember, it's important. I am dead. Please, for your own sake and for Rosie's, this isn't real, I'm dead. John, look at me. Mm. I'm not here. You know that, don't you? Yeah, see you later. No, Sherlock Holmes wants to get in touch. It's not something you can fail to notice. He didn't? What? My carpet looks like just a spilling blood. Do you introduce me? What? I'm already like upset before the freaking credits. <gasps> the new villain. <laughs> Philanthropist. Hello. What's the very worst thing you can do to your very best friend? On your mind? Is he gonna hook him up to that drug that makes yes, you tell the truth or something? Oh yes. Why would he do that? Well, what is the worst thing you could do? Tell them your darkest secret. Scary. Of course you can. I have a problem, and there is only one way that I can solve it. By killing someone. I'm terribly sorry. I need to kill someone. Who? Sherlock? We need a meeting. Mm. Are you okay? No. Oh, of course you don't own a car. You don't need one, do you? Living in isolation, no human contact, no visitors. Okay, how do you know that? It's all here, isn't it? Look. Stop! Wait! Your life is not your own. Keep your hands off it. Do you hear me? Off it. Off it. Sorry? What? I need to see your handbag. Why? It's got a bug. It's too heavy. Mm -hmm. You said I was your last hope. Now you're going out into the night with no plan on how you're getting home. Oh, a gun? Into gun. Why didn't you know my kitchen was tiny? Well, look at the fade in the pattern on the paper. It's not much, but it's enough to know your kitchen window faces east now. We know the sunlight can only be entering the room at a steep angle. If the sunlight was able to penetrate the room when the sun was lower in the sky, then the paper would be equally faded. So Top she lives bottom. in a bottom apartment? No, it only makes it when the sun is at its zenith. So I'm betting that you live in the Mara Street on the ground floor. The room's small. Oh, Big Brother is watching you. Literally. What's he doing? He's just wandering about like a fool. So what is it? What, what now? Sorry, um, face is rude to the map. Oh, he said like F you. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Perfect. Sherlock Gone Rogue is a legitimate security concern. The fact that I'm his brother changes absolutely nothing. It didn't the last time, and I assure you it won't with... With Sherlock. Sorry, what? Do you still speak to Sharon? 
I get regular updates. Mm-hmm. And Sharonford is secure. Are we going to walk on that? The night? other Possibly. one. <gasps> what is going on in this episode? The name can't be one word. I need to kill someone. Who? Anyone. <laughs> of course. He doesn't want to kill one person. He wants to kill anyone. He's a serial killer. Anyone. It could be anyone. I know. Why shouldn't he be? Oh my god. You know where you are? You drunk? Should be at Baker Street. I am. So are you. Wow. I found your address. They brought you here. You know too much. And that's me, sir. <laughs> Kill. This scene is amazing. I, I, I can't with this episode right now. I can't. I can't. Your own death is something that happens to everybody else. Your life is not your own. Keep your hands off it. What? What am I? Nicer. And who? Anyone. What? Oh, Mycroft told her to go there. What's happening? It's Sherlock. You have no idea what I mean. Holy! I see you standing like great arms in the steps, straight up on the start! Oh! Holy. The game's afoot. Oh, hello. <laughs> Can I have a cup of tea? Uh-oh. Would you call the police? Are you having an earthquake? Oh, no! <laughs> to see him, John. You need to help him. Nope. He nope. needs you. Somebody else. I'll try if I'm in the area. Promise me? I promise. Oh my god! Are you serious? Well, when you go, examine him. Oh, poor Sherlock. Oh. Oh, she did it so he would drop the gun. She's smart. He caught the tea. Oh my god, are you serious? Wow, such reflexes. And then she's like, get in the damn car, we're going to see John. This is for your own good. Who's this one? This is a new person, I'm against new people. Excuse me for a moment. She's my therapist. Oh, who's she talking to? Awesome, did you do block bookings? I'm so sorry, I answered your phone, you were busy. I think you want to take it. Uh, yes, hello? Is this Dr. John Watson? No! Yeah, who's this? Sorry, did you say all still meeting? You, me, and Mr. Holmes. I've sent a car. I should be outside. Mr. Holmes gave mm. me an address. Well, he, he couldn't have given you this one. Uh, what? So he knew he was going in the boot? When you're ready. So two weeks ago, two weeks before you were abducted at gunpoint and brought here against your will, over a week before I even thought of coming here, you knew exactly where you'd need to be picked up for lunch? That is weird. Really? I correctly anticipated the responses of people I know well to scenarios I devised. Can't everyone do that? How? Except the boot. The boot was mean. I need you to know, John, I need you to see that up here, I still got it. So, well, I tell you, this is the most dangerous, the most despicable human being that I have ever encountered. Well, I tell you that this, this monster must be ended. Please remember where you're standing, because you're standing exactly where I said you would be two weeks ago. 
Yeah, they're barely in enough, I suppose. Why would I be faking that? Because you're a liar. You lie all the time. It's like your mission. I have been many things, John, but whether have I ever been a malingerer? You pretended to be dead for two years. Apart from that. Listen, before I do anything, I need to know what state you're in. Well, you're a doctor. Examine me. No, I need a second opinion. I need the one person who, unlike me, learned to see through your hope long ago. There is that, I'm sure I would have noticed. The last person you think of. Molly? I want you to be examined by Molly Hooper. <laughs> Jamie, is it Molly Hooper? You're really not going to like this. Like what? <laughs> Molly is there! <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, hello, is it? Yep, I'm come on in. He's in the account. back. Well, two weeks ago. It's not a trick, it's a plan. It's no! Betty Keith and Clay's the most significant undetected serial killer in British criminal history. Help me bring him down. What, what plan? Not any. Why not? Because you won't like it. Mr. Holmes! Trick him into trying to kill him? I don't do handshakes. It'll have to be a home. I know. <laughs> oh, Sherlock. I don't know about this. Oh, Sherlock. I needed a hug. Ooh, what, to get something from him or on him? What is it, Mr. Holmes? Serial killer. It's funny, because it's true. You look so sad and bad and drugged out and tired. Oh, and Dr. Watson, of course. <laughs> Golf. Mr. Wow. Holmes, if the Queen was a serial <laughs> killer, I'd be the first person she'd tell. We have that kind of friendship. A big round of applause for Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I think uh, Watson is. Now? I want to show you my favorite room. I think Watson is on yeah, onto let's it. Let's go in here. Oh, well, wasted time. Indeed, you have, I estimate, 20 minutes left. Ooh. Sorry? I sent a text from your phone, remember? It was read almost immediately, factoring in a degree of shock and emotional decision in the journey time based on the associated address. I'd say that your life, as you know it, has 20 minutes left to run. Well, no, 17 and a half to be precise. What? Oh, I don't know. I hope. Oh, God. I can't figure this one out, you guys. How long have you been working here now? Four years. Four years, huh? Hmm. Well, that's a long time, isn't it? Four years. Okay, everyone. Okay. Five minutes. I'm gonna go take a bucket, uh, snack break. God, yeah. he's intimidating. Right. And weird. This time, knock. This time, knock. He's done this before. You want to hide a murder? You want to hide lots and lots of murders? Put in the morgue? Find a hospital. Can we be clear? Are you confessing? To what? Oh my god. The way you're talking. This is so tense. I apologize. I, I, I've miscalculated. No. I forgot to factor in the traffic. She came to Baker Street. She didn't. Of course I didn't. She came to see me because she was scared of her daddy. Never happened. Is this another one of your drug-fueled fantasies? Have you seen him take the scalpel? Nobody saw it. So you didn't know what was about to happen? Of course I didn't know. What? Right, let's see, shall we? Dave, <gasps> stop loitering at the door and come in. This is your father's favorite room. Oh my God. Come and meet his best friend. Dad? What's happening? What was that text? Another one of your jokes? <laughs> Who are you? What? Oh, different girl. Who the hell are you? Sherlock Holmes, surely you recognize him. Oh my God. Sherlock Holmes. I love your blog. You're not, uh, you're not the woman who came to Baker Street. Um, well, no. <laughs> never been there. We've never met. Oh, shit. Have we? Oh, Shall I? I'm not laughing. He's not laughing, sir. So. Stop laughing, you man! Oh! Christ. I keep wondering if we should have seen it coming. Not long ago, he shot Charles Magnuson in the face. We did see it coming. 
We always saw it coming. But it was fun. I, oh, you probably want to see this. Oh. I don't really know what happened today. To be honest, I don't think I'd be standing here now if it wasn't for Dr. Watson. Oh my god! Stop it! Stop it! No! I really hit him, Greg. Hit him hard. I don't think he's a danger anymore. He's gonna whisper something in his ear. Yep. No, it's okay. Let him do what he wants. He's entitled. I killed his wife. Hello, Ward 73. Oh, uh, Dr. Watson. Hmm? It's for you. <gasps> Who is it? Mycroft? Jared. Hello, Mycroft. Oh my god, you guys! Don't leave him in by himself in that freaking hospital room! The guy's gonna be on the corner like, me. I will kill you! Oh god. Ah! Who's that? That is him, isn't it? Shit! Oh my god! This guy is so creepy. Oh my god, he's got plastic gloves on too. Maybe there was something on the, the, the letter that the that, I'm his brother changes not. that yeah, woman that brought to him. You said the fact you were his brother made no difference. It doesn't. You said it didn't the last time, and it wouldn't with Sherlock. So who was it the last time? Who are you talking about? I'm wrong. Nobody. I misspoke. He's lying. You're lying. I assure you, I'm not. He really is lying. Another one, isn't there? <gasps> no. <laughs> A secret brother? What is he locked up in a tower or something? Oh, Mycroft Holmes? What are all these dreadful people doing in my house? What's on his mind? So to speak. And you've had all this time? Time being something of which She's we like, don't I'll have tell a you. Of. It's not about thinking. Not Sherlock. Of course he oh, is. No, he's more emotional, is he? Unsolved case. Shoot the wall. <laughs> Unmade breakfast, karate the fridge, unanswered question. Well, what's he do with anything he can't answer, John, every time? He stabs it. Anything he can't find the answer for, bang, it's up there. Oh. I keep telling him if he was any good as a detective, I wouldn't need a new mantle. Oh, my God. If you're watching this, I'm oh. probably dead. Okay, no, stop that now, please. Everybody out now. Mrs. Hudson is on a roll today. No, Sherlock Holmes. He is going to try I'm and kill you. Giving you a case, Sherlock, might be the hardest case of your career. When I'm gone, if I'm gone, I need you to do something for me. Save John Watson. Save him, Sherlock. But I do think you're going to need a little bit of help with that because you're not exactly good with people. So here's a few things you need to know about the man we both love. And more importantly, what you're going to need to do to save him. Why are you here? So he walked into my den and laid down in front of me. So that John would see Why? You can get out of my hand if you... I don't want to hear you say it. He wants to die? Say it from memory. No. I want you to kill me. Come on, John! Come on! Yes! Take the damn car and go! <laughs> what to die? Lovely. No, 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 no. Here it comes. No! Come on, John! Get there already! Shit! 
Please, I don't think he's safe. Go in there. What message? John Watson never accepts help, not from anyone, not ever. But here's the thing, he never refuses it. So here's what you are going to do. Get in there already. Yeah, oh, is it locked? Oh, look oh it. is that door locked itself again? Yeah, it's in what he's doing that. You can't save John because he won't let you. He won't allow himself to be saved. He has to save you. The him. only way to save John is to make him save you. Why is he going to take a big breath if you want? What's he going to do? Go to hell, Sherlock. <gasps> no, 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 no. Go into hell and make it look like you mean it. Come on. There's someone desperate about to go missing. No one. Come on! It's easy to suspect something else. I just have to ration myself. Choose the right part to stop. Go and pick a fight with a bad guy. Put yourself in harm's way. Come on! Sherlock, come on! If he thinks you need him, I swear. Stupid nurses and in cahoots with this weirdo. Come on! He will be there. What? What are you doing? This is distress. I'm helping you. Restrain him now. Do it. I was trying to help him. Shut up. What was he doing to you? Suffocating me. Overdosing me. Come on. Say hi. Say hi. Yes, say hi. What do you mean, say hi? Uh, well, obviously, I got those Cornish to switch the bags. Say hi. He's trying, you know. I got my confession, though, didn't I? I don't recall making any confession. What, what, what would I be He's going to have a recording. To? You can listen to it later. Well, there is no confession to listen to. Oh, Mr. Holmes, I don't know if this is relevant, but we found three potential recording devices in the pockets of your coat. All your possessions were searched. Sorry. Must be something comforting about the number three. People always give up after three. <laughs> yes! I had five. What? What is it? <laughs> He knew that John would leave his cane. Are you serious? Two weeks ago? Three. Oh. Unpredictable. No. I'm just a... <laughs> Molly will be here in 20 minutes. Well, why do you think I can last 20 minutes with no. that supervision? No. 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 Well, if you're sure. Christ, John, stay. Talk. Uh, sorry, it's just, um, you know, trying to... Yes, of course, Rosie. You want to solve a crime together? Make him wear the hat. He's wanting to still talk to him. Are you okay? <laughs> uh, well, I'm not, no, no, I'm not okay. I'm never going to be okay. You just have to accept that it is what it is. And what it is is... John, do better. You didn't kill Mary. Mary died saving your life. Her choice... No one made her do it. No one could ever make her do anything. But the point is, you did not kill her. In saving my life, she conferred a value on it. It is a currency I do not know how to spend. Uh, Irene Adler? That noise, that's a text alert noise. What was that? Hmm? What was what? That's the text alert of Irene Adler. She's the scary mad one, right? That noise. What noise? Yeah. She's dead. Oh, I bet she isn't dead. I bet he saved her. Oh, my God. Oh, the posh boy loves the dominatrix. He's never knowing the under cliche, is he? John? I'm going to make a deduction. Oh, okay, Do it. Good. Do I it. My deduction is right. You're going to be honest. And tell me, okay? Okay. Though so I should mention that it is possible for any given text alert to become randomly attached Happy to Happy birthday. Thank you, John. That's very kind of you. Never knew when your birthday was. Now you do. Because she said happy birthday. Seriously, we're not going to talk about that. Talk about what? My hands it work? How does what work? Nights of passion in High Wycombe? Oh, for God's sakes. I don't text her back. <laughs> you bloody moron. She's out there, she likes you, and she's alive. And do you have the first idea how lucky you are? 
Yes, she's a lunatic, she's a criminal, she's insanely dangerous, trust you to fall for a sociopath. Oh, married an assassin. But she's, you know... <sighs> what? Just text her back. Why? Because High Wycombe is better than you are currently equipped to understand. Just text her. Yep. Phone her, do something while there's still a chance, because that chance doesn't last forever. Trust me, Sherlock, it's gone before you know it. Before you know it. Yeah. She was wrong about me. She thought that if you put yourself in harm's way, I'd, I'd rescue you or something. But I didn't, not until she told me to. And that's how this works. That's what you're missing. She taught me to be the man she already thought I was. Get yourself a piece of that. You can never ever do yourself a disservice. I have known many people in this world that made few friends and they can safely say I cheated on them. <sighs> My clever comeback? I cheated on you, Mary. There was a woman on the bus, and I had a plastic daisy in my hair. I'd been playing with my rosy. And this girl just smiled at me. That's all it was. It was a smile. We texted constantly. You remember when? Every time you left the room, that's when. When you were feeding our daughter. And you were stopping her from crying. And that's all it was. Just texting. But I wanted more. And you know something? I still do. I'm not the man you thought I was. I'm not that guy. I never could be. But that's the point. All you thought I was is the man no, I want to be. Well then. John Watson. She's gonna disappear now, huh? Get the hell on with it. <laughs> oh. It's not okay. <laughs> no. But it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, it's not my place to say that. Was just texting. Shut up, sure. Text. Even I text her. I mean, woman, bad idea. Try not to, but you know, sometimes. What's wrong? <laughs> Seriously? Sherlock Holmes or whatever the darn hat. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that right, Mary? You seem so much better, John. Yeah, I, I am. Not a bad. Not all day. Not Wait a minute. Day. Yeah. It is what it is? Yeah. Is this therapist the same girl that went it? to visit Sherlock? Perfect. Oh. oh, what's that? That's a paper. What about his brother? <gasps> My croft is fine. So, you're off now. I won't see you for a week. Oh! Just spending it at home. A little dalliance. My number. Oh, 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 oh. I already have her number. My private number. Oh. Why well, would I need that? I don't know. Maybe you'd like a drink sometime. Uh. Of what? <laughs> of you? But I didn't mean Mycroft. I mean the other one. Hmm. Which uh. one? You know, the secret one. Or I'm sure something I said. I'm sure there's... He never said it to her. How did you know about that? I didn't tell you that. You must have done. I really didn't. Well, maybe Sherlock had told me. You, know, you met Sherlock exactly once in this room he was off his head? Oh, no, no. I, I met him before that. When? <gasps> we spent a night together. It was lovely. We had chips. I was right. <laughs> Not what I expected, Mr. Holmes. You're nicer. Is she Sharon Bird? Calverton gave me Faith's original note. Mutual friend put us in touch. Did Sherlock ever tell you about the note? 
I added some deductions for Sherlock. It was quite good. But <gasps> he didn't get the big one. Miss me? Oh my god! What's what? Well, it's like I had on the bus. You look very sweet. But yeah. then. You have such nice eyes. What? Amazing the times a man doesn't really look at your face. Oh, you can hide behind a sexy smile or a walking cave. I just be a therapist talking about you all the time. <laughs> oh, please don't get anywhere. I'm sure the therapist who actually lives here wouldn't want blood on the carpet. Oh, oh hang on. It's fine. She's in a stack in the airing cupboard. Oh, I am. Isn't it obvious? Oh, my God. Haven't you guessed? I'm Euros. Euros? Silly name, isn't it? Greek means the east wind. My parents loved silly names like Euros or Mycroft. Oh! Uh, or Sherlock. What? Oh, look at him. And it never occurred to you, not even once, that Sherlock's secret brother might just be Sherlock's secret sister. Well, he's making a funny face. I think I'll put a hole in it. No! Next time on Masterpiece Mystery. Oh. Every choice you've ever made, every path you've ever taken, the man you are today is your memory of you, Ross. I know this is difficult, but you've got to keep it together. What? Sherlock. Next time on Masterpiece Mystery. What was just happening? Uh... <sighs> oh go to the masterpiece all right i just have to i'm just gonna walk this out for a second walk it out walk it out just walk it out just walk it out what oh. okay what um wow i was uh this episode was great in that it went even darker than the first episode. I didn't think it could get darker. I think I breathed maybe three times the entire episode. It was so suspenseful. And I had a harder time um, guessing what was going on this time around. Um, up until like milliseconds before it actually happened. And then I'd be like, it's that thing, right? Oh, yeah, they're in the room. So I felt like uh, no, I was a little off my game. Which is interesting because Sherlock was way off his game. Visually, once again, stunning. I really, really enjoy this season. This season is so cool. I love the new effects that are being put into the episodes, like, you know, where he's drawing, uh, you know, visually just drawing in space and then it just appears that way and he's putting things like that and moving things closer and, and just, um, even when he was having this, like, drug-induced haze and, like, the background of the of the apartment went behind him and all of a sudden he was back in 221B. Oh, I just love it. I did not suspect the therapist until, I don't know why, I was just like looking at her again, like, wait a minute, like near the end there. I did not think of that. And then I, I totally didn't think she was the Scottish Zoe Deschanel on the bus. Not at all, not at all. Every time John saw Mary and Mary and him talk to each other, it broke my heart. It kind of reminded me, and this is going to be a crossover here, but anyone who watches Doctor Who, uh, when the Doctor was talking to Clara, and she obviously wasn't there anymore, and he was he was talking to her, that was like so, ah, oh, it really just killed me. So it just reminded me of that, where he was just that upset that he saw her. I was more emotionally moved than I thought I would be when he confessed to cheating. I was very surprised that he even confessed to that, but then also just his um, his idea of like feeling that he was a horrible person or that he didn't live up to what Mary thought of him, you know, and what we expect from people. It's an interesting idea because we usually fall in love with the idea we have of someone, which can be unhealthy. I mean, in this case, I think it's more that she fell in love with him and also just loved him for who she knew he could be, right? And that's what he said himself. So in this case, he just wasn't living up to his true potential 
Instead, he was doing, you know, n not being the best person that he could be. Yeah, Irene Adler, that was such a little, uh, like a little, you know, oh, look, just putting that in the mix here real quick. It added a little bit of um, lightness, which I think was necessary because then John was giving Sherlock advice. And I think that even though Sherlock in this episode was obviously drugged out of his gourd and, um, you know, unhealthy and unwell, even though he was unwell, I felt that he was more connected and less restrained emotionally than he has been in previous episodes. And Mrs. Hudson, what? I mean, this is the most she's talked the entire season, I think. All of a sudden now she's like mama bear, you know, driving the red sports car, coming to save the day. And I know all the details. I mean, can't you understand this? She was like Miss Sass this episode. What do you think? I, I, I think so. And I love the idea that she just gave us a clue about Sherlock and who he is because Mycroft thinks that he knows him and, and John thinks that he knows him. And then she goes and says, Sherlock isn't that unemotional. What are you talking about? You know, karate chop the fridge, you know, punch the thing. And like how, how John said, like, if you can't solve something, what does he do? He stabs it. And that's when he goes to the mantle. Why is Sharon Ford up and around and, and causing havoc, right? So is she a goodie or a baddie? Because right now I feel like she's a baddie. What do you guys think? I feel like she's not a good person. And that's why she was put away somewhere, even though she's obviously not staying where she's been supposedly put. And then Mycroft saying, oh, call Sharon for it at 2 p.m. What the hell, Mycroft? You have everyone else totally securely watched and regulated. And you don't know that Sharon Ford is off like impersonating people and like causing ruckus and stuff. What? Come on. Unless it's that she's like, dude, I'm smarter than you. And I'm smarter than Sherlock. I am the smartest of the Holmes siblings. And you all, whatever. But she obviously is off her gourd, though. I mean, her saying, like, I don't like the look of this. You know, it's not smiling. I think I'll put a, a hole in it or whatever. Ah! And the ending scene, which was completely right out of James Bond, where it's like, you know, a gun goes off and then, like, the credits. Da, 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 da. You know, blood. This, in this case, red blood. I hope that Sherlock figured out the whole miss me thing and ran over there and is going to help his friend. Then now, what does that mean though then? Miss me? Miss me then. Does that mean that she made the Moriarty tape that said miss me? Miss me? I mean, what? Miss me because I'm your long lost sister and no one ever talks about me and everyone hides me away and I'm the east wind. I mean, this just brings it all back. It all wraps it around in a nice little roll of ridiculousness. I loved Sherlock's manic moments where, I mean, you're not even sure as the viewer, you, you feel completely encompassed in what he's going through. I mean, it, encompassed, is that the right word for this right now? This episode, mind blowing. Oh, wait a minute. I thought that that nurse that was like, oh, that door is stuck, whatever, was in cahoots with the creepy guy. Actually, she was in cahoots with Sherlock. That's right. She switched the bag up to Saline first because he asked her to. And then she was saying, like, let, he's like, let the door stay locked because he needed him to confess. He needed him to confess. Ah! Just figured that out. Molly, I don't know what to say about Molly in this episode. She seemed, like, more nervous than I thought she'd be. Because you remember that episode where she was like, you've been on drugs. Psh, psh. You know, like, totally smacking him upside the face and like, I will kick your ass if you don't cut this shit out you know, value your life, blah, blah, blah. Unless in the car ride over, he told Molly, listen, I'm doing this for a reason. We obviously know John isn't dead because the next episode in the trailer, he's in there and he's not dead. Okay, so great. So we know he didn't die. I just don't know what, oh my God. So yeah, that was, that was a whirlwind, right? But a good whirlwind. I mean, a really good one and a half solid hours of, you know, entertainment, right, you guys? How did you enjoy the episode? What did you think? Did you figure out that she was Sharon Ford before the end of the episode, like me? Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this, please remember to like and subscribe and comment because I love to talk to you guys because there's so much to talk about.
So anyway, I will see you next week already. These are going so fast, right? So fast. But I will see you next week when I make the third installment. Until next time, I will see you then.